What's going on, everyone? Here I am in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, in front of our rental house. Uh, this has been an unbelievable trip, I gotta say. First of all, we've been able to ski slash snowboard directly down to the mountain. Over there, we just take that road, which is just over there. Not only could you ski down to the lifts at the beginning of the day, you could ski right back to the house when the day ended. Also, I almost lost my drone. I sent it up a good 400 feet and got the mountains over there and then also the valley over there. I was getting a little too bold with the drone flying though because it got too close to a tree. Usually the sensors kind of keep it away from any obstacles, but that just wasn't happening this time. So it hits the tree, I hear it fall, and then I see on the screen, unable to take off. And I'm like, oh, fudge. What am I gonna do? I scamper down these stairs, icy staircase. I sliced up my hands falling down that thing. There's like four feet of snow everywhere you look. So luckily, one of the guys had snowshoes with him somehow. Thanks, Damien. I put those on. Still sank about a foot with each step, and there was snow just kind of in the coils beneath the propellers. But I don't have time to worry about it now because I'm still on vacation. Day two, yesterday was a lot of work. The snow was uh, pretty rough and unpredictable. It felt like work all day to not catch an edge and just die. Ow! Bro, my ankles are broken! And today was literally the best yet. We had nine inches of snow overnight, so we had just an excess of fresh powder everywhere. One of the runs through the trees was definitely the top three of all time that I've ever experienced at any resort. One specific thing about Jackson Hole is that it has this record-breaking tram that holds 100 people. And they literally like shove you in kind of like Tokyo subways. They're just like pushing you in the door and everybody's like shoulder to shoulder. And you get to the top, that's 10,450 feet at the top of Mount Rendezvous. That's Grand Teton over there. You go to the side and there's just uh, the Rendezvous Bowl as they call it. Only double black diamonds to get down. And it was just a sight to behold. Short story, unbelievable trip. I would come back in a heartbeat. Jackson Hole, Wyoming and Whistler, British Columbia would probably be my top two favorite ski resorts of all time. Oh, you made it! Nice! I really had no idea if the drone was going to survive. It was such a relief to get back see it launch and land successfully. And I have never launched the drone in my house. That was a choice that could have gone very poorly, but luckily it was kind of cool.